this cat bite and this LSS got really intense, really fast. You gotta really get into this video. Rest in peace to Yolanda as well, one of the greats. This clip got really, really intense. Yolanda was not having a dog in her ass. And you gotta catch me, I'm in those legends every bad time. This is where things went left. Wow. Whew. Okay. So, before we get into this video, first of all, I look, I look, first of all, look me and see, that's number one. I need my hair done and everything. Like, where the hairstylist at? Because when you're a baby, y'all do too much. You gotta like hunt y'all down just to get your hair done. But anyway, or whatever. Um, let's get into this video that we just watched. First, sleep in peace to the icon Yolanda, one of the greats. Without her, there would not be a lot of people today. So we have to give her her roses. So a lot of people requested this video and asked me to do this video. I was kind of hesitant on doing this video because this video to me is like a little, I don't know, I don't want to say negative, but I wasn't, I, I, I wasn't really sure if I wanted to do this video, but then at the same time, I don't see no harm in it. So I'm going to do it as we're doing right now. So the, this video or whatever the case may be, before I even get into the situation, as you can see, if you watch the video, we were both vlogging. We both look amazing. We both look good. Um, one thing led to another. Um, I felt like she was a little too more aggressive than me. And she had like kicked me between my legs or whatever. And it felt me to, as you can see in the video, I guess put my hands on her and then an altercation happened and then they broke it up. What I can say is, um, I kind of do regret being physical in that video after getting to know Yolanda's story and getting to learn more about her. And Yolanda was actually, Yolanda was actually somebody who, she came into ballroom at the age of 16. So she only knew ballroom, like ballroom was all she knew. And then the way how she was shaded by some people that she were close to in ballroom, and how she was treated or whatever the case may be. And coming up in ballroom and you don't know anything but ballroom and ballroom is like your life, your family, and that's what you run to. It's kind of hard when you come in the scene and you see other girls coming up, making a name or whatever, it starts to feel like you're being replaced. And that can actually trigger, trigger you, you know? And Yolanda was, so one, Yolanda is one of the greats. Without her, it wouldn't be a lot of us. It wouldn't be no me, it wouldn't be no Lola, it wouldn't be a lot of us, or whatever the case may be. And she felt like she was being replaced. And that's why Yolanda had the attitude that she had against some of the um, younger girls and why she was like kind of aggressive. And I understand that. And I regret this video. I regret everything that happened in this video. If I could take it back, I would. Because I think me, listening to other stories and watching other videos of situations that happened with her and other girls, when it was time for me to battle her, I already had that image of her in my head. So it was like one little thing, I was offensive and ready to attack, which was actually kind of wrong of me because I should have actually learned her and got to know her for myself. Even though the video was a little touchy-touchy on both sides or whatever the case may be, I understood the reason why after getting to know her, after learning her story, and this, this, what happened in this video of us getting into this cat fight that was actually a different kind of cat fight, this should have never happened because Yolanda is actually one of the girls who paved the way for me. If it wasn't for her, I probably wouldn't even be like Hurricane Katrina. Like, she's one of the girls, like, she's one of the goats. Like, she's the icon. And she paved the way for girls like me. And we have to respect those girls like her. 
We had to respect them. And we cannot wait till it's too late to respect them. We had to respect them while they're here. Respect them when they're not here. We just had to respect them. And I think it was like, you know, me just looking at other people and situations they had with her in videos and, you know, with her touching them and them touching her, it just like, I already just had in my head like, okay, well, I know this and this was just going to happen, which was actually really, really wrong. And I do want to apologize for that. Also, after this situation happened, it actually got really crazy outside. Like, Yolanda was waiting for me outside. Like, she wanted to fight. I think she had mace or whatever the case may be. And it got really, really crazy at the Escuelitas or whatever. I had went and got a can of mace. I was trying to mace her. She was trying to mace me or whatever the case may be. She ran to the cops telling them that um, this this guy is trying to attack me or whatever. The cops put her in the car, Yolanda left. This video was posted all over the internet. Everyone was talking about it. Some people agreed with me, some people didn't agree with me, some people agreed with her. But at the end of the day, it should have never happened. I regret it even ever happening. And if Yolanda could even hear me right now, I apologize, I love you, we love you, we cherish you and we respect you. And I wanted to do this video actually for myself and for her. And before I actually end this video, even though this wasn't a long reaction video, I wanted to get this video out the way because a lot of people requested it. And I want to say, um, before we end this video, of course you guys make sure y'all subscribe to my channel and make sure y'all follow, like, share. Um, you guys actually been doing your thing. Shout out to my Stormies. Y'all been doing your big one with um, my with my clips, watching them, reviewing them and everything. I love y'all for that. Continue to support me, to continue to show love. It's only up from here or whatever the case may be. So you younger film queens that are just coming into ballroom, make sure you respect those that came before you. Make sure you respect those that paved the way for you because you never know when it's going to be too late and you won't be able to speak to that person or give them their roses or whatever the case may be. Start showing respect to the girls who paid the way for you. Show respect to the girls who made it possible for you to be able to get on the floor and do what you're doing today and have the platform that you have. So shout out to Yolanda, we love you. We love you, we love you, we love you. Shout out to Yolanda and make sure y'all subscribe to my channel. I love y'all. What's Google? Peace.